Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today yes. we are continuing our campaign in Divide and Conquer as Darwinian. We have taken Dolgador, and we are on the road to Barador as well, which is pretty cool. Now, the Barador battle we can actually do. We don't have the greatest of armies over here, to be honest. But I think it's probably worth just doing, just seeing whether we can win. And if we don't win, we'll retreat back over here to some of our reinforcing troops that we've got coming along. We're also recruiting a lot of armies because we're making an absolute fortune right now. A genuine fortune as well. And we've got this battle to do where we're going to do a draw out battle and hopefully take Burr Southis and bait Shagul into coming to attack us on the walls there, which would be pretty cool indeed. But first things first, actually we've got a couple of people to move, not you, Van der Kind. We've got Perth, you go up to Ilanin, my friend, hopefully you should start making some better money there. 1,700, that's pretty good, because before it was at like 300 and 400. So I think it's time to have a look, see whether we can take Barodur. They do have Orc Defenders, they've also got some Olag High, which we're going to have to try and take down with our, you know, with our archers. The rest of them, I think we can beat with the infantry that we do have and the cavalry we have. But I don't know how bad a battle map this is. I've not played on this battle map for quite some time. So, <laughs> it could be horrendous. But I don't think it'll be too bad. Anyway, I will see you on the battle map, guys. So, here we are on the battle map. Let's go have a look at it. Hopefully, we don't fall down <laughs> the hole. Looks very much just like... The only thing we can really take is the gates. And then in here... Uh, yeah, we come through the gates. I can't really see. Uh, I think we come through the gate there. And then we have to get through this area as well. And then the next area... It'd be nice if we could, uh, you know, zoom out a bit. So I can actually see what's going on. Then we have to get all the way through to there. Now, are these towers? I don't believe they are. Um, it's hard to see anything, but it, oh, it's a pretty cool battle map, isn't it? So, I can't actually uh, aim any further upwards, guys, unfortunately. But yeah, pretty cool battle map, I've got to say. So, let's get our men down into the gate. And what we'll do, we don't need you guys with the ladders. We also probably don't need you, but we'll bring you forward with that anyway. Now... Archers, of course, we're going to try and use you against the Olaghai. We'll keep you off that for now. Let's get all our good infantry forward too. So you guys come here. Cavalry, we can actually maybe use you if I can actually see what's going on inside the cities. But I do like this lava. Really cool. All through the bottom here. So let's actually go... If we can go right up this way, we should be able to get to the tower and actually see the tower. Okay, they're all in the main square. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going up. We're going up. Boop, 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 boop. There we are. Oh, we're underneath Sauron's eye. And now we're down on the floor again. <laughs> there we are. We can actually see it kind of now. We have to... <laughs> this is... Oh, 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 oh. This is crazy. <laughs> wonder if we can see it if we come down here. No. Oh, sorry, guys. This must be quite jarring. It's also jarring for me, so don't... <laughs> there we are. Look at that. There it is. Very nice. Uh, but, yeah. So, let, let's come forward. And they do have some men right inside here. So, let's zoom in a bit so we can actually see them. Uh, there they are. So, who do they have? They have the Olokai in here, which is not great. Because the Olokai are actually a fantastic unit. Plus, some halberds. Which, again, are a fantastic unit. So, yeah, we're going to struggle slightly. Definitely early on. So, which unit? You're the one going forward. So, we should definitely get, say, the Thorn Guard behind you. You're not the Thorn Guard, actually. You're just a uh, general swordsman. It's going to be really hard to try and get... Oh, you can't... The pathing here is, is atrocious. Uh, it's going to be really hard to get anyone into here. Uh, especially... Oh, we do have Thorn Guard. So, there we are. Get there, there. Get there. So, I'll try to bring the Thorn Guard through first. So, let's speed it up. 6%. 
Um, so yeah, we'll try and get the Thorn Guard through first. They're definitely going to be the better option. Archers-wise, we do want to get them, you know, around here somewhere, just ready to fire in case. But yeah, I don't... It's, it's going to be really tough to be able to actually fire at that Olakai, so we might have to just beat them. Although we do have these guys. These guys can fire their javis at them. That would be amazing. So let's speed that up a bit more. And we should break down the gate. We need to try and engage them and then get these Javi boys up behind. Because remember how good these guys are against Great Beast. I'm sure they'll be the same against Oleg High. But there we go. I wonder whether they'll charge out. Doesn't look like it. So how far away are those Javi boys? I wonder whether you would be able to fire at the Oleg High already. Well, let's get the, uh, the guard through. They're the ones who are going to start with the fighting. So, yeah, let's come through. And, I mean, if you could, like, set up there, it'd be great. But I very much doubt you'll be able to. Oh, it's so hard to, to, to control the camera on this map, guys. I'm so sorry. I know it's a bit of a, it looks a bit of a pain. But here they go. So they're charging into the Thorn Guard. We should be better than them. Like, even though the South Front Lancers are good, we should be, you know, a bit better. Let's get these guys in as well. Let's kind of get all our infantry because they're starting to die. We might not be able to do this, you know. Here they come with their halberds as well. So this is just a big fight for the gate. I kind of need you guys to fire at the Oleg High if you can. If anything, get there and run. Then you should be able to fire at the Olokai a bit easier. Let's speed it up times two. Yeah, our guys are going to get shredded by the Olokai if unless we can take them out. So, fire at the Olokai now, maybe? Javi's coming in or not? I don't know whether they're just like... They're just not firing. Come on. Surely you can fire now, guys, through the gate. No, I guess not. I guess not. We're going to have to just push from the gate then. So let's speed this up. It's going to be a grind fest. Oh, maybe one or two Javis did go then. Now fire. Now fire. Okay, the halberds are kind of messing around a bit. Let's halt. Let's not fire anymore. We do have our archers across here, but yeah, they're not going to do much. Let's get you guys in here. So I think it's three levels. So we've got this level. And then they got this final level. Oh, before I get to the tower. Oh, God. No, no, no. Why, why are we looking up like this? Oh. So, yeah. There we can actually see what's going on with the map. So, yeah. I don't think we can get onto that level. I believe you can probably get on this level. Yeah, you can. I don't think, though, that you can, like, get through here to get onto this level. Which would be great, so we could fire down at them and actually use our archers. But yeah, let's zoom back in. God, it's tough. Oh my god, come on. There we are, there we are. Jeez, man. So tough to actually use that. So we've got most of our infantry doing this fighting, so we really do need to try and make sure. Right, now you should be able to fire at the Olokai, surely. I know, don't worry about friendly fire. I'm genuinely not bothered about that. What I'm more bothered about is you killing the uh, Oleg High. So, yeah, Oleg High, there we are. Don't think they've got many good shots off at them, to be honest. You guys routing? No. Where are these spearmen? Come on, fire at them. Then we're going to have to get you into the fight. They, they are hitting them. But I don't think they're doing much damage. Yeah, our units are getting shredded. I think we're going to have to come back with a few more men. We've not even killed a single Olokai yet. <laughs> well, we'll grind them down with our infantry for now. As long as possible. Yeah, we've literally lost half our men and we've only just fought the Olokai, basically. <laughs> I wonder whether you guys could actually fire at the Olokai from point-blank range. Yeah, go on. Now they're going to come outside the city and we're going to get screwed. So, what do we have? We've got you guys. If you guys could get forward. I just want to kill the Olokai so when we come back, we'll be okay. 
But it looks like we're going to take some damage even doing that. So, yeah, is it worth it? Probably not. Get further back. There we are, men. Good. Yeah, have we not killed a si Have we killed any hologram? Oh, yeah, we have now. We've killed a couple. The Moriquendi Sentinel's doing the work. There we go. We're starting to kill them, so they are getting less and less hit points. But goddamn, they are a tough motherfucker. They are very tough. Jeez, man. Jeez. Right, let's get our archers out there. We don't want the archers to, to you know, take a huge amount of loss. I don't really want the Moriquendi Sentinels either, to be honest, but... they I, I kind of want them to mop up the Olog High at least. And we'll get the cavalry. We definitely don't have enough to win the battle now. So we'll get the cavalry away. Uh, I don't know where that Olog High is going now. Uh, what do we have here? You guys, fire at them for now. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, and I think we're just going to have to leave these Moriquendi Sentinels behind, unfortunately. The poor elves. They brought, like, everyone out. Let's try and get as many kills as we can while we're here. Get there, get there, get there. Where's Athel here? Stop, stop, stop. Pause. Oh, God. Where's Athel here? So that's... Is that all three of you? Yeah, fantastic. Right, fire at Will then. So get going. Fire at the Orc Bodyguard, and then we will retreat. They don't have any cavalry to follow us up either. So, yeah, just try and take out as many as possible. Not the Bodyguard, actually. More the Orc... Uh, no, they're not, neither the Orc Defenders, because they're... Uh... Right, they're getting close. Let's go. Let's get out of here. A defeat at the gates of Barador, unfortunately, but... We killed all the Olog High, so they might be able to re recruit another one quite easily, but I guess we'll just see. They, they might not be able to. Unlikely that they won't be able to, but I guess we need to, like, we know now we need a lot more, more troops to break through that gate. I think we would have been fine if the Olog High weren't there, but with them, it's just impossible. Like, I think we could outgrind the defenders and everything. Uh, but we did kill, like, their high-value units, so that's fine. Let's let them go. And, uh, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate loss, and the, the stats are going to be horrible. But, yeah, it's fine. See, the stats, oh, God, 500 versus 151. But, of course, we killed their really high-value units. But they did kill some of our high-value units, like the Moriquendis. So, not great, but I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. So, I think we do accept this. It's only 42. We've got enough money. Um, but, yeah, we <laughs> we did lose. But, look, at they've only got these three units now. So, I do think with these guys, but maybe both of these, we will be able to take it. So, we need to go back and join them. Um, they do have this army coming as well, which is, oh, more Olokai. Great. <laughs> That's what we like to see. <laughs> more and more Olokai. But anyway, let's do this draw-out battle at Burr Southis. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. They've got some good units. Warg Marauders and Goblin Striders, which are a bit annoying. But the rest of this is just, yeah, it's just trash. Uh, we shouldn't have a problem with these boys. We're going to just try and skirmish them to death, like we did last time. And then we've also got Edward in the Conqueror to go and kill them all. So that'll be fantastic. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. So let's start our deployment. Good weather. And like I say, we're just going to go after them with our archers. Um, Infantry-wise, we'll just have a big line like it already kind of is. Uh, make sure all of you boys are on fire at will because we don't need to worry about the uh, any like big units like Oleg High, etc. <laughs> in this battle, uh, thankfully. Um, but yeah. Right then. We should be able to fire pretty well now, straight away. So let's come forwards. And let's get all our men forward as well. Ready to take them on. You guys, get you off that and start running. And then cavalry, let's get you here. And yeah, let's uh, let's come forward. And the Avari Naharim. So infantry are probably not going to be able... That's a bit ambitious. 
Let's get to here if we can. Go. And then the Avari Naharim. Let's go kill the Goblin Striders with them. Because they are fools that deserve to die. Get firing men. I think probably at the Uruk Slayers would be the best option. Actually, no. The Wog Marauders. No, Goblin Striders, if you can. Let's keep you on uh, guard mode so you won't chase after anyone. Ooh, these guys taking a bit of a battering against the Stalkers. But let's uh, let's come through the back. And uh, let's start charging them down. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, men, go. So now we get in Spear Wall. Oh. Let's go charge the Mirkwood Oryx. They're quite good, though. They have spears, don't they? So let's get you all back. Don't want to lose men on the spears for no reason. Go, go, go. Get there. Let's come forward. Got all our archers in the action now. You guys, let's go after them. How are we doing over here? Let's get the Avari Naharim. Let's get you over that way. Now, cavalry, let's go. We've got that other other army to contend with, so I want to kill this army really quickly because the other army is coming in from behind us, which is never great. Uh, but yeah, I think we can do quite a good job against these boys, to be honest. Let's go. Broken them already. Nice. They're all starting to break. Good. That's what we like to see. The Goblin Striders are pretty much dead. Uh, right then. Back into the back of the Mirkwood Oryx. Got to try and make sure we kill as many of these boys as possible. Or should I say orcs? Surely we can break these boys with this charge. Yep, broken. Kill them all. Quick, quick, quick. And then we can turn to face the other army. So I think you boys, let's get you here. Ready to face the other boys. We broken them. Go, go, go. Kill them all. They're pointless. Don't need to fight them too much. Oh, we've got the Avari Naharim in here. The Avari Naharim can be the ones to chase all these boys down. So let's just get right in the middle. And then I think infantry-wise, let's get you all set back up. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, this is, this is running the gambit, isn't it, boys? Get you off that. Start running. And our cavalry can just do the rest. Fight them. Uh, Avari Naharim. Yeah. Get these goblin headhunters if you can. We'll use our cavalry. We don't need to worry too much about the cavalry and all that sort of thing. They can do what they want, really. Now into the headhunters. Where are their wogs gone? Have they ran away? I don't actually know. They're there. There we are. Killed them. Headhunters should run now. So, cavalry, let's get you back here. And then the Avari Naharim, you guys can be... Ooh, what's this? Thorn Riders, yep. You guys can be here, killing them. And you boys... I don't think there's anyone else that we really need to worry about chasing. Just one of the Avari Naharim, then. They can chase. And they're already in the fight. Good. Now, you boys, get your... Uh, Spear walls up. And these guys, let's come through on the flank. Don't think they're going to be able to get past our spear walls, to be honest. Nice, boys. Nice. That's what we like to see. And this is the blobbiest blobs of blobs you've ever seen. This is really nice for us. Now get in. You guys get round. Yeah. Fire at the Orc Maulers, archers. You are choosing your targets very nicely. This is what we like to see, boys. Apart from maybe the crossbowmen, you just fire at who you want. Fine. But oh, we already got people routing. I'm not expecting that. That's quite weak from them, isn't it? Let's get over here. There's this massive blob here, though. You kill the Orc Maulers. Let's get behind them. Let's go after them as well. Kill, 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 kill. Kill all the Orcs. Now, Avari Naharim, let's get you through to go and deal with these scouts. They have ran. Some of them have run, and some of them have come back. 
Yeah, some brutal archery fire coming in as well. Right, this is it. Let's get into that. These are Vari Naharim. Let's get you in there. Nice. We are just absolutely running rampant here, aren't we? Oh, those poor Orc Maulers. <laughs> we didn't even mean to charge into them, but they just did it anyway. <laughs> so anyone that's not fleeing, who's not fleeing here? I feel like they're all fleeing. I mean, some might be fighting to the death. But whatever. Uh, let's get them. Get them all. Get them all. Nice. Another general dead. Fantastic. Let's speed it up. How many have we killed? It says 96, but let's just make sure. Uh, and this Avari Naharim, you've got a person. What is that? Some Uruk Slayers. Go and kill them. <laughs> nice and easy. Ah, oh, what glorious victory. That was a bit easier, wasn't it? Than any of the other victories we've done. Well, than uh, Baradur, at least. Get them. And then we've got another person up here. Yeah, go after them. Nice. That's it. Caught them all. Good. Heroic victory, I've got to say. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We've basically killed 2,700 of them. And we lost 129 men. Oh! Well, I am sorry, Dolgador, but that is absolutely glorious. 236 from that Avari warrior. 212 from the Avari Naharim. Nice. Very good. Fantastic stats for the boys. Oh, glory, glory, glory! I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And, of course, that's a good ransom value, but let's execute them. Always with the Orcs. That's what we do. Burr Salfus has paved roads as well, so it must have a bit of a upgrade. Let's try and now bait them into coming to attack us. Got a Grog Hall building ground. That's fine. Brawler's Pit, on the other hand, is not. And we got a successful mission for that. Didn't even know that there was a mission for it. Surely, I was going to say, there must be some Northmen here still. Yeah, there is. So let's get the Standing Stone straight away. It's only a town. Ray train you boys. And let's just try and bait them into coming to attack us. Because that would be very nice if we could defend Bursalfis. Um, and I think we are at the end of a turn. Now, Tostore is under siege. It's going to be four turns. But we should beat that. Uh, I know it says five units, but they're all very damaged units. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing with everyone else? I think we just moved everyone, so let's end the turn. And we should have now another army ready to go, as well as Norway's army. <laughs> I'm debating whether to send one of these armies south, though. Because we kind of do need another army in Mordor. We're so kind of stretched thin there. Just so we can have two armies on the way. We cannot withdraw. Oh my god. And they got great beasts. Well, I think the best option here, without the ability to withdraw... Can we go into the battle and withdraw in the battle? I actually don't think we can. But let's try it, and if we can't, we're just going to have to take this on the chin, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's see. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. And uh, it's not a great battle map for defense. But we're going to get, like, over here anyway. And let's see. No, we cannot actually withdraw. So let's see what we can do then. Very little, I imagine, against them. Unless they just decide to stand over there. That's... I mean, that's fine. Uh, let's spread our boys out. Get the Moriquendi Sentinels. We kind of want our guys to rout. <laughs> it's the only real option we have here. But they, if they're just going to stand there and do nothing... Oh, no, they are starting to move now. I was going to say, if they're just going to stand there and do nothing, we'll just wait them out. But Fire at the Great Beast. Good. If we can just take out a few Great Beasts, that'd be great. Literally. Uh, yeah, like, which, <laughs> unfortunately, this is a step too far for Athel here, I think. 
They do like to chase these boys, though, so let's try and bait them to chase them. Can we fire at the trolls yet? Let's fire at the trolls. The trolls are actually relatively easy to take out compared to the great beasts. They're chasing down these boys. That's fantastic. Let's keep going, then. I don't know what they're doing. Well done, AI. Very clever. Very clever. Just walk along. They're just walking as well. Killed a couple of trolls already. Another one. Let's go. If we can destroy this troll unit, that's nothing too bad from this battle. Let's just keep baiting them. Right, let's uh, go after the great beasts. Keep coming along this way. No, they're turning now, it looks like. Come on, the archers are after the great beasts. Come back around this way. Now if we can... Go, 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 go back. I don't think we've taken out any great beasts. Over here. Oh, no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right, then what is this? Orc band. Well, I think we might have a chance of breaking those boys with our cavalry. So, fire at the great beasts. Come on, Cav. The final charge. You've been on a grand campaign. A glorious campaign, some might say. Um, but unfortunately, it, it does end today with your deaths. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. All right, Cav, back out. Go, go, go. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing we can really do. Fire at the Great Beasts. If we can take out one or two, that'd be nice. But I very much doubt we can do anything against them here. I'm going to leave the cavalry in just to hold the Great Beast for a little bit. While we fire at them. Fire, men. Fire. Now the trolls, maybe. If we could get a few shots off on the trolls again. Oh, we killed nearly all the trolls. We killed all the trolls. Good. They might get healing, though. That's the one problem. But there is nothing we can really do against the Great Beast. Then two Morikwendi Sentinels. Yep. No, Athel here. No. You were a glorious commander. Ah, uh, well, we overstretched, didn't we, guys? We overstretched. And now we are facing the consequences. And we'll just try and let this uh, Avari Naharim die in a glorious way. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. They don't even look like they want to retreat yet, though. We think they can win. What are they doing? I don't think you can win against the Great Beasts. But let's go for a glorious charge. This is your uh, your opportunity, my friends, to mark your name in the history books, even though it has, you know, already been marked quite well. Charge! Oh, dearie me. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we killed more than, uh, than we lost, but we did lose everyone. So back onto the campaign map. Well, we retreated a bit, but Athel here did not survive, unfortunately. And they're going for Dorthalu. That's not something unexpected. Um, but it's glad I'm glad we have Dorthalu there, so they're not going into the interior anymore. Well, that might be where we have to send our next army. And then, like I say, Norway is going to have to go down to the Black Gate, if possible, and smash the Black Gate down. Um, but Kargukor up there... In the north, we need to, yeah, we need we, we need to get an army around there and rebuild it because our army is screwed. Erland, 100% will accept you, my friend. Merchants Guild at Tustore, definitely accept that. Uh, Dorfalu, yeah, they didn't, I don't know where, oh, God. how are you going for Logarth? Do you, like, does Lo Logarth, ah, Logarth will actually, um be part of that. I wonder though, if we went and attacked them at the bridge, would they actually be... I don't know, they might actually... It might actually be better. <laughs> Only 50% in Logarth, really? Was not expecting that. It's probably cultural unrest from the changes. 
Yeah, look at that. 75% religious unrest. Wow. Well, we need to uh, get more Northmen as quick as possible. I'm thinking maybe what will make them happy that's quick. Everything's three turns. The Herbalist gives, you know, 10%, 5% due to happiness, but a bit of health as well. But if we got that, we do get that extra happiness and also get them round to our religion ASAP. Uh, our culture, should I say. The marriage celebrations. I should have actually looked at that. Uh, let's hold on to that for, a na for now. Burger. Yeah, Athel here did die. That's very sad. Let's go around here. And it looks like they're sending more and more men. And there's Gan Alton. He's come back. So let's get into Cargo Corp. We're going to assemble a bit more of an army now. Uh, Avalyn's Rest, I believe. Did we just build... Oh, my God, yes. Bang, 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 shebang. Let's go. Get the LV boys in there. Most advanced faction is Mordor. That seems like some sort of joke. They released our prisoners, a whole 37 of them. It's just not a shame that uh, they didn't release... Athel here, and he died on the actual battlefield. Now, did we get... Where did we get that actual new general? Oh, it's over here. Erland. Yes, right, Erland. Well, we'll probably use you for a new... Yeah, we'll put you in Santanui as the governor there, because it, you, we need money. Um, you guys need to get into there. So, we should now be ready to take this army forward. So, Vine Regent Harwin, let's get you to the front. Then let's get our archers together. So we need got one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three archers. Is that it? That's not very many, is it? Three archers. That they're not archers. You've got no archers. Neither do you. Ah uh, well, three archers is fine, I guess. Then let's go, Moriquendi Sentinels. Get in there. Then we'll get. Probably these two boys and the two blade boys as well. The sword and board boys. Into there. And then let's go with let's go the two privateer axemen. They're quite good. Two of you. And then we need maybe a couple of these thorn guards. And then the rest, if we do have it, will be cavalry. We've only got four cavalry units. So we need one more unit. We can get one Swordmaster, I guess. That's fine. Swordmaster. Into there. And then our cavalry. Nice. This is a good army. It's not as good as Edwardin's, but it is still quite good. So which way do we want to go? Probably this way. Um, could we actually recruit? Ah, oh, we can't. I was going to say, I wish we could recruit a... Standard peasant unit, but I don't think we can recruit them from anything. What do we need for them? Standard peasants. Is it the Great Hall? Yes, it is. So that'll be what we build next. Tostore is still under siege. Now right, let's do our building then. El Gair. Let's build. Let's go for the Masons uh, Guild House. Avalyn's Rest got the Avari Barracks, like we already saw. Fantastic. Let's get the Royal Hall so we can get the next level. Also got the Hero Shrine over there. Which is good. Dorthalu got the tomb. So Dorthalu should be recruiting Northmen quite a bit now. Let's just put in the trading post for now. And then Logarth, we got the Standing Stone. So yeah, we need to get that one. Now Norway, my friend. How long is it going to take you? Still a little bit to get into there. We'll get you guys in there. Um, you're going that way. Now we've got more army down this way. Oh, we've also got two generals. Aragavia. You've come of age. I think we've got generals in all of these, haven't we? How about Varfest? I mean, we're getting one in Varfest now. Do we have a militia garrison? We don't here. So it's probably worth just popping in all of those boys. Uh, it's probably worth crossbowmen better. Because we'll get them. If we press the end turn, we'll get them and we'll be able to defend against these boys. Let's uh, make sure we are building everywhere. Do, 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 do. 
Rawberg? Yeah, we can't build in Rawberg, right? Yeah, we need some more population. <laughs> that poor population has been absolutely ravaged <laughs> this whole time. Yes. So Vine Regent Harwin is, you know, it's getting serious now on the front lines because Harwin is ready to go. Um, we've still got our outpost in Dolgador, which is great. Uh, we did lose Austin Gale, though. But we do want to connect our lands at some point. Uh, what are you? Are you a diplomat? Don't really want you uh, too much. How is the population here? Yeah, 9% Northman. I think, honestly, Vine Lord Swain can just literally chill here and just defend it. But I don't know what they're doing. Why they're going for, like, why is Shagul going over here? I think we might go for that battle, though. That would be quite fun. Are we recruiting in Karasant anything? No. How about Moranathel? Just some more cavalry. Strondost, we're getting those boys. What's in Enmahalf? Oh, okay, it's just that. Avalyn's Rest. Let's pump some more troops out. Probably cavalry. Crossbowmen, maybe. Yeah, a couple of crossbowmen. Just pump more troops out over here because we need to rebuild our armies. And go after Baradur one more time. You can go for Kardagakor. A merchant's still there making a lot of money. But I think we'll end it there for today, guys. So, one bad battle at Baradur. And one great battle at Bursalfis. <laughs> so, yeah. Either way, I mean, it's okay. It's not too bad. Dorling was there. We need to find out where these regions are down here. I think there's, a, there's like a castle in the middle here. And there's like another village region around this way somewhere. And that's what's causing them to come through and attack us. So we need to take those out. But that will put us in direct competition with Mordor. So I'd rather kind of square off Mirkwood, really. All the way up to the River Anduin. Um, yeah, and then we can have ports on the Anduin and trade with the good people up this way. Which would be great. And Gondor as well, actually. Which is good. So that's fantastic. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.